Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. Okay, so this is actually an emergency and I would plead with you that as soon as you see this video, kindly do me a favor, share it as widely as you possibly can. So I was sitting right here, you know, and I had a very clear open vision, an open vision about both Donald J. Trump and Nana Kufuado of Ghana, so the U.S. president and the Ghanaian president. And so I decided to make this video to like ask for prayers, not just about these two individuals, but also about something else that I'm going to discuss with us right now. So that's why I say this is an emergency broadcast, because the time that we have to act is very short. So we really need to act fast, okay? I'm going to start with the Ghanaian president. I don't know why God keeps showing me stuff about Nana Kufwad. I have absolutely no idea. And you know, you know, I've been sharing videos of people's visions about what will happen in America and all of that. I have never really had any vision about what is going to happen in America. And I decided like, if God has called you, honestly, you don't say what he has not asked you to say. So I decided to stay quiet. But this happened to me just a few hours ago. In this open vision, I saw Nana Akufo Ado. He was right in the middle, right? And he was being pulled by the right, and he was also being pulled by the left. And I was wondering, who are these people pulling him on the right and being pulled and pulling him also on the left? Who are these guys? And the Lord showed me that these were dark altars. You know, altar. They are not good altars. These are institutions that have been there before he even became president. And so this side is very dark. And this side is very dark. And from this vision, the Lord is showing me that when Nana came to power, because it's almost like it's a tradition for anybody who comes to power to show some loyalty to this satanic institution here and this other dark one that is also here so it's just natural it's just normal that when you come you just have to do it okay so he came to power and he gave loyalty to this and then gave loyalty to this one and i didn't hear exactly what name to call these two different forces and and authors that he is showing his allegiance to or giving loyalty to but there are two of them and they are pulling on him and so because election is coming close they are placing too many demands on him right now they are putting him under so much pressure this side is pulling and this side is pulling and so i was a bit confused looking at this vision i said this man is in the middle. He's trying to pay attention to this. He's trying to pay attention. Okay, let me give you what is due you. Let me give you what is due you. But it's not enough for these two altars. But when I looked, there was something very significant that happened. This force is here. That force is here. Nana Kufado is in the middle. But I looked way ahead. And I saw like a bright pillar of cloud, which signifies God, signifies God, like Yeshua, like Christ, standing on the other side. And he was doing his hand like this. He was doing his hand like this. And I could see that heaven is calling Nana to walk away from that circle where he is. You can see from what I saw in the vision, and I'm not making anything up. Nana is neither here nor here, but he gives loyalty to these people and loyalty to these people. He gives an ear to this one, gives an ear to this one. He allows this one and he allows this one, but he is in the middle. So God is saying, because you have permitted these guys and permitted these guys in this election, there will be a surprise that even Nana himself will not believe. It will be so shocking. 
on the day of election, the result will come out. It will not be in favor of Nana Akufuado. Because the people who are supposed to, who have even pledged allegiance to him, that they are going to work for him, with him, in this election, we switch on him at the last minute and work in favor of the opposition. This was revealed to me very clearly. Nana, from the vision I saw, God showed me that Nana himself immediately rejected the result and said, no, there's no way this can happen. But indeed, it's actually going to be true. So what God is saying is, when he was doing hand like this, He's saying, Nana, walk away from that circle of confusion where you have to be nice to everybody. You're trying to be good to this one. You're trying to be good to this one. You just don't want to be called a bad name. You don't want to be called, oh, he is just so different. No. God says, walk away and don't be afraid because there's so much fear. The reason he is in the middle is because it is customary. It is tradition. That anybody who comes to that seat of power must pay attention to this altar here and that altar here. And God is saying, look, even if you don't pay attention to them, if you can only walk up to where I am and I grab you, these people will not do you anything. Because there's so much fear that if he walks away from where he is now, that they will actually crumble him, they will destroy him. And I see the Lord saying, now nah, nah, come to me. If you come to me, they will not be able to do anything to you. They will fight you, but you will win. You will have victory. And looking a little further, I was checking, I found out that when he actually walks up to God, that God is going to give Nana a very supersonic victory on the election day. And when that victory happens, these two altars are going to rise up to fight him. Every Ghanaian, anywhere they are on earth in this world, they will get to know him. In fact, even people who are not Ghanaians are going to know about the fight. They are going to fight him dirty. His second term in office is going to be marred with so much fight. But guess what? Every step of the way, he will be scoring very huge, humongous victories. Because then, the Ghanaian people, even people who never liked him, even people who disagree with him on everything, all of them are going to stream towards him. They are going to support him to be, to be able to fight against these forces that are almost like ancestral to that seat of power in Ghana. Anybody who comes there must be loyal to them. Anybody who comes there, it's like a tradition. And God said, I want you to walk away from that tradition of showing allegiance to these two altars. I will hold you. And so this is what gave me the boldness to now say clearly that God actually wants Nana Akufuado to come back. And I said this in all sincerity. I know a lot of people will look at this and say, oh, but he's always loved Nana Akufuado. All this one he's saying, he's just talking because he loves Nana. To be very honest with you, that's why I said earlier, I decided I would never say anything until I hear directly from the Lord. God wants that man to come back. I don't hate the opposition in God. I don't even know who and who is part of the opposition in God. I'm an African. I have the right to talk about any country on the continent of Africa as a bona fide child of Africa. But beyond that, I don't have too much information on what is going on there in Ghana. And so I am pleading with you. I'm not trying to take sides. Nana has not paid me to do this. Nobody pays me to say or do anything if you know me very well. I am saying this because I heard clearly from the Lord that God is standing by saying, come to me. If, if that does not mean that God wants to do something new with Nana Akufuado in the second term, I don't know what else to tell you. That's exactly what I saw and that's what I'm seeing. So now, to end this aspect of the vision, I have a message for the men and women of God who are around the president of God. My message to you, a clear instruction, is going to be a three days intensive prayer program for the president. Three days. And I will show you exactly the way I heard it. Two days of fasting 
day and night fasting, drinking only water. Three days, two days rather. Day and night, six to six to six to six for two, 48 whole hours. No food, only water. On the third day, you are free to take fruits. Then the midnight of the third day, let a massive prayer, is called a transition prayer, be offered for the president. If possible, let him be physically available while you guys pray for him. Hold his hand, draw a line on the ground, and pull him across that line, and release prayer upon his head. Watch. Watch when that happens, the victory is sealed. And when this victory happens, it's going to be for the Ghanaian people, not for any special interest. Even if you hated this man, mark my words, remember today's date, you are going to love him much more than you have ever done before. This is the word of the Lord. Of the Ghanaian president and I hope that people who watch this video will take heed and do what needs to be done immediately 